Hello everyone, this is Janice May and today I would like to show you how to make my sea anemone or sea anemone ring. One of my very first designs when I started making paper beads, I wanted to make something out of the little tube beads. I call them olive shaped beads. Uh, I call them petite olive shaped beads and um, they make such perfect uh, spikes for the sea anemone uh, ring. So it's kind of like this except you know they are more uh, random and, and they move a lot around. So I would like to show you how I did that and I would like to recreate that for you if I can. I have um, done this a long time ago and I have kind of improved the design over the years. So what you need, let's go over the materials. We are basically going to be making wrap while wrapping this paper bead with a head pen and not making a, a rosary loop because I find that to be uh, flimsy and not secure once you wrap them into the ring. So this is more secure, you know, the split ring kind of loop and they're easier to do. So we're going to be doing that and you need around 18 to 20. So basically they look like that. So let's go over the materials. You need a 20 gauge wire. I like the copper, they're easy to work with. And for the purposes of this uh, demonstration, I'll be using the 22 gauge wire so you can see the flow without me having to fumble. So I'll, I'll be using the 22 gauge wire. You need your paper beads and you can use any kind, I, I mean any size, as long as they are, the design calls for something that's tubular. So I have made this in one inch and they are massive. So I think the this size or the half inch tube would be perfect. You need your tools, you need your chain nose, cutter, round nose, you need a ruler, and you need a ring mandrel. If you don't have a ring mandrel, then use anything that's, you know, round that fits your finger. So let me show you how to wire up the bead. Very easy, very simple thing. You take your head pin. The head pin, by the way, is like 20 gauge and two inches. You need your, um, four millimeter Swarovski crystal. It doesn't have to be Swarovski. It can be Preciosa or it can be Chinese crystal. And that would be nice too. Like this. Okay. And then you just need to bend your head pin into an L shape like so and this is where you need to measure when you cut so that they're all uniform so I figure about 5 8 of an inch Okay. now it's like this take your round nose Put it in between the jaws of your round nose and if you don't feel anything, means you're okay. It's right there. And just start turning your round nose towards you, making a loop. Now if you notice the, the loop, the end here, is slightly off it's not aligned because as you're turning it 
you want the wires to be sitting close together. I'll show you what I mean when I finish. Okay. You see they're like that and you just kind of fix them so that they're look neat. So there you have it. So this is not going anywhere. You can pull as you're wrapping it and it stays. Okay? You need to make 18 to 20 of these. Okay? And I'll be showing you other things we can make with this kind of a design. So when I come back I will be showing you how to wrap them into the shank of the ring. So let's go to part two of the video.